Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can take full advantage of your actor core characters by using iClone to create realistic facial animations and expressions in no time. The actor core site is constantly being updated with new quality content, so be sure to check back often for exciting new character model and animation assets to use in your project. When browsing the actor core library, you'll find that the characters will often have facial expressions while demonstrating the preset motions, indicating that they have full facial rigs that can be used for detailed animation in iClone. Actor Core character facial rigs contain a library of blend shapes that you can manipulate in various other CG and game design software such as Unreal, Blender, Maya, and much more. However, the process of manually adjusting each blend shape keyframe by keyframe can be tedious and time consuming. iClone has a powerful arsenal of real time 3D animation tools that make it the fastest real time 3D animation software in the industry, not to mention that it's optimized for use with Actor Core character models. Actor Core models are built with the Expression Plus or EX Plus Blend Shape library derived from Apple's AR Kit that allows for amazing levels of realism when animating facial expressions, not only with conventional animation tools, but also with iPhone facial motion capture. This feature, which was previously only available with CC3 based Plus characters, has now been embedded in all Actor Core character models, allowing them to use EX Plus facial puppet profiles. In terms of lip sync animation, iClone has a powerful new tool called Aculips, which provides a flexible and intuitive way to generate procedural lip sync animations, which can be edited in a variety of ways, allowing users to quickly and easily generate accurate, natural, and smooth talking performances. It can detect and generate accurate text from a variety of audio sources and generate precise visim shapes for fantastic looking results in no time. When browsing character models in ActorCore, you can click on the info section to find out more about the features of your character, including the number of facial blend shapes and Aculips compatibility. All you need to do is select iClone in the target tool presets and download, and it will automatically be added into your iClone smart gallery. Let's look at how easily we can create facial performances for our ActorCore characters in iClone. What we're going to tackle first is creating an accurate lip sync animation using Aculips. Let's load up the Aculips tool open an audio file, and click on Generate Text. Occasionally it might get a word wrong here or there, so you can quickly fix the issue and then click Align to refine the results. You'll see that the visemes are applied to the timeline, along with the words being spoken and the audio file wavelength. It's only compatible with English for now, however more language support is coming soon. Everyone calm down, if we're careful we can make it through this. In the lips track, you can adjust the strength, position and type of each individual visime shape by double clicking on the respective keyframe. In the voice track, you can right click and choose a different talking style. An enunciating preset will generate much stronger results on the track. Everyone calm down, if we're careful we can make it through this. Well, a mumbling one will be much more subtle. Everyone calm down, if we're careful we can make it through this. One of the coolest and easiest methods of animating your character's face is by using facial motion capture. In the Motion Live plugin, it's a few quick clicks to get your character up and running with facial mocap using the iPhone or a growing selection of other devices. However, only the iPhone will allow you to take full advantage of all the detailed EX Plus blend shapes. Before you get started, be sure to load up the ARKit JSON file to load in that profile in the expression mapping panel. You can find this file on the ActorCore website as well as in the description for this tutorial. If you only want to capture certain parts of the face while masking others, you can easily toggle them in the mask panel. For example, if you've already done lip syncing, you'll want to generally mask out the mouth. You can also set the strength of individual facial features as well, which you can combine in various ways for unique results. Also, there are a number of smoothing options that you can utilize in order to get rid of any unwanted jitters or clipping in your capture. Once you're ready to go, just hit record and you'll be able to use your own facial expressions and talking to drive the animation of your virtual character. If you don't want to use motion capture, there are also other tools you can use to animate your face quickly, including the Facial Puppet tool, which utilizes different profiles and your mouse movements to generate smooth expressions in a snap. You can later refine and customize your motions using the Face Key Editor for more detailed keyframe animation adjustments. Finally, exporting is a breeze and includes a number of different format options such as Alembic, FBX, and USD formats. If you choose to export to FBX, there are a selection of target tool presets which you can choose in order to optimize your character's materials and shaders for that particular tool. Please be aware that at this time, actor core characters are not able to utilize the tongue sliders unfortunately, since they are optimized for lightweight resource consumption in your scene. 
For detailed tongue animations, you'll want to use a CC3 Base Plus character from Character Creator. In case you're not aware, you can also tweak and customize the colors and materials of all your Actor Core characters as well, which is covered in another tutorial. This provides a world of new options for even just a single character. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.